Proclamation. I'm going to start. We've got Suad, Don, and Sandra. Hi. I'm going to start with the Christmas version. It's called Christmas Joy, and it's actually out on Spotify, but in, in America, I think you guys have got to wait till midnight before you'll find it on Spotify, but you can go to Bandcamp, and I know Beth's got all the links. So today, we're, we're forgetting about the outside world. We're, we're taking our troubles, we're throwing them away, we're just having a moment for ourselves so that we can enjoy some music and some relaxation. I think there's enough going on right now. That's all we need. So I'm going to play Moving Through Worlds. And um, th this song was originally recorded as Galloping with Blue Coast Records, and it's on my latest album, Moving Through Worlds, and it's the title track with violin and cello, Moving Through Worlds.
but the cat just went running past. <laughs> she hasn't done that before. Normally she stays away. Um, she stays away normally for concert day because um, it's our cat. She's only new, um, and she um, she doesn't like she doesn't like big crowds. And she knows that on the other side of my iPhone 11 that there's you know a couple of couple of hundred people watching. So hopefully she'll come back. We'll call her. Puss, come on, yeah, puss. No, when it's just me and the cat, she jumps on the piano. She walks all over it. She's so sweet. I really love that cat. So I'm going to. Um, I'm going to, here she comes. Come on, puss, come on. Here she is, you dear little thing. She was a rescue cat when we got her. Hello, darling. Come on, puss, come on. Come on, sweetheart, come on. Good girl. What a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> she was a rescue cat, so um, she was 17 months old when we got her, and she had a 12-month-old kitten, and the kitten was bigger than her. Than her, so we fell in love with her, and she's um, she's been with us now for I don't know what do you reckon, Lou? Set seven or eight months, maybe, maybe, yeah. She's beautiful. You never know; she might jump on the piano. So I'm going to play Sugar Plum Ghost again this week because um pretty much because I messed it up last week, so <laughs> I'd like to do a better job of it. Uh, this is Sugar Plum Ghost. Thank you. 
Yay. <laughs> I don't like making, um, doing a bad job of a song, so if I do that, I, I will always play it the next week and um, correct it because that's, that's what we have to do. So that's a lot better, can I just say. Uh, today we are trying to leave all of our troubles outside the room, so we're not talking about anything, anything negative. We're just here, we're just enjoying music, we're just relaxing because sometimes it just all gets too much and you just need a little bit of space and a little bit of time for yourself. So I hopefully this will make you smile. This is my version of Jingle Bells and it's, it's coming out on Christmas Joy, the deluxe version, which is a reimagined sort of radio friendly um, version of my 2010 album, Christmas Joy, and it'll be on Spotify for most of you at midnight. It's out in Australia now, and it's out on Bandcamp. Uh, and this is this is this is just a, a little taste of Jingle Bells. Features didgeridoo, which is obviously it's an Australian um, indigenous instrument, and it's played by a guy called Michael Jackson. Not the one you're thinking of. This is another one, um, and he um, he's actually I think he's like an archaeologist, and he specialises in in digging up um, in indigenous um, I, I guess relics and, and whatever else. And he's just the most amazing player. And when you listen to it, you just laugh. Like whenever I perform. Um, live with him, I just, I can hardly keep a straight face because he's doing bird calls and dingo calls and he's, and it's really rhythmic and he kind of uses it as if it's percussion. It's really awesome. You'll have to have a listen to it because it, it is guaranteed to make, to make you smile. So now I'm going to play Bushfire Moon. Um, it's one of my solo pieces from Music Through Worlds, which was released in July. I'm going to get a quick sip of water. I might have a look at the wall, that's a good idea. And we were just talking about this this morning because we've got a lot of J's there. We've got Jim, Jerry, 
Jay, Jason, and Leanne, Matilda and Apollo. Matilda and Apollo are dogs, you've probably noticed. Very, very cute. And their owners are Chris and Lindy, and Apollo is owned by Gigi. Actually, I think Gigi is probably owned by Apollo, actually. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> but let's not, let's not get that mistaken. And um, down, <laughs> J Jay is, oh, sorry, going back up. Jay's a, a very dear friend. He's seen me play twice now in, um, at Carnegie Hall. And he likes underwater scuba diving. Now, that's a shark in the background. I don't know if you can see that. A uh, little bit scary, not something personally that I would do myself. But, you know, we're all different. We're all different. Some people, some people love swimming with sharks. And they're very beautiful, certainly when you video them. He's done a couple of videos for me. He did one for one of the tracks off Moving th Through Worlds. And it was a beautiful video. We've also got a horse there. We've got Rosie. Rosie is owned, or should I say owns, Louise. She does indeed. Yes, she's a very, very feisty little girl. She's a Frisian and she's a year old. So Jim and Jerry. Hi, live, Jim and Jerry. They Hello. live in Colorado. And um, I actually did a concert up there. That was the first time that I got, got to meet them, which was very exciting. So I think Leanne and Jason are excited because the Queen, sorry, the Victorian borders, if they're not open, they'll be open soon. 23rd think, of November. Oh. 23rd of November, I think everybody's just can't wait to get, get out, you know, go somewhere. That's, that's going to be amazing. And we're certainly looking forward to seeing them up here. There'll be a big party, guys, when you turn up. And moving down, I've got them sitting on top of a painting. That's Bass, that's my, my husband. <laughs> that's my son, Nick. My cat, one, an old cat that's since passed away, his name was Tiger. And he's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Just loved him. That's Anne, or Bootsy, um, as we call her. I went to boarding school with Bootsy. We had a great time. We had our own little kind of group of close friends. And me and Bootsy and Susie and Kiney, and we had a great time. Well, it was again. much simpler back then. Sorry, I can't see over the top of the piano. So we're up to Apollo again because Apollo's um, kind of cute. So we have to have lots of photos of Apollo. And Bar. We've got Bar. That's my mother-in-law who passed away about, um, oh, I think it was a year ago. Gosh, don't tell me it was two years ago. Time goes so fast. Um, she was 93, so she did pretty well. And then we've got Tom, and I'm not sure if, dog's name that Tom's holding but Tom belongs to Anne and he'd be around 15 16 years old now yeah it's nice to have our boys there up on the wall and Kathleen and that's Kathleen thank you so much everybody that chose to be on the wall I can look across at everyone and and smile as if I've got people in the room with me which is kind of nice really uh, now I'm going to play bushfire moon for you I wrote this song to actually it was a fundraiser to raise money after the bushfires. But we're not, we're leaving the room, we're leaving all the troubles behind. So we're not talking about anything negative at all today. This is all about free time, free from whatever's going on outside in the world. Bushfire men.
you have some exciting news. I'm going to be uh, going down to Wayne Stewart's piano factory in Tunit, where this beautiful piano comes from. It's a Stuart and Sons piano made from Kieran Pine. And I'm going to be walking all over the factory with a little gimbal, and we're going to be looking at all of the pianos. We're going to be doing an interview with Wayne Stewart on his piano so that he can actually give you correct information instead of sort of, um, you know, my interpretation coming from the person who makes the pianos himself, which will be very exciting. And I'm going to do a concert down there. Bass is coming with me. And um, this time I've, I've asked him if I can do the concert on a sassafras piano. You know those ones that you see with all the stripes? So, um, so that's going to be really exciting. And the date for that, I have set the date and I cannot remember what it is. But I will post it because it's coming up soon in a few weeks' time. So that's very exciting. I'm not doing a concert next week. I've got a couple of bits and pieces on. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the last song, which is going to be our prayer. This is our moment to think about the positive things, not negative things, something for yourself, something that's, you know, think about somebody that you love and you care about. And I'm going to play an improvisation. Now, the idea of an improvisation is pretty much just to start out with an, an unknown note and expand on that and to sort of create some kind of melody or rhythm and then explore it, take it somewhere else. It's always guesswork. I have always admired Keith Jarrett. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of the Colm concerts. Um, he did a recording uh, live and it was quite early in his career, I believe, and it's still to this day the biggest selling solo piano album. Um, now, not every moment was perfect. You could hear the wheels turn. You could hear him thinking, where am I going next? Um, but it was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Just an amazing man. I wouldn't pretend for one moment to be able to improvise like he can. But in a way, it's about channeling um, what you're thinking about and just trying to sort of work out, play the piano, I guess, on an emotional level. So, so this is my improvisation. We'll see how we go. We'll see where it takes us.
I'm doing improvisation, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if every note's going to work or not. Um, but I was, I was pretty happy with that. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today and allowing yourselves to step outside of, of that awful world that, that's outside the door. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe put a couple of dollars in the tip jar, that would be great. But if not, it's, it's, you know, it's no big deal. I just would love to be able to share music with you. It's a lot of fun. Um, and maybe look for Christmas Joy Deluxe. It's about to hit all the platforms. It'll be out in the US everywhere tomorrow. Follow me, have a listen, playlist it. And, um, and thank you to Louise and Beth and everybody that's joined me. And I'll see you for the next concert. It's Friday. Do we have a Friday the 20th, maybe? Is that a Friday? I think that might be the concert that I'm doing. It's either that week or the week after. I'll put it on Facebook at the Stuart and Sons factory. So, um, I've got to drive about eight hours, eight or nine hours to get there. And it's going to be really exciting. Because firstly, because I love Wayne and Katie. They're fantastic. But also because you'll, you'll get to see just this most amazing space and how these pianos are made. So until then, stay safe and, um, and I'll see you later.